guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Money Monday! Today I'm so excited to talk to you guys about the Christmas season because it is officially Christmas season. It is in full swing. We've eaten the turkey. It's gone in the fridge. We've had the leftover turkey sandwiches and I feel like Christmas is now upon us. I don't know about you guys, but our family is definitely a one holiday at a time family and that's just the way that I like it. It's the way that I can handle things like one step at a time. So now that Thanksgiving is over and we've had such a great time with our families, it is time to get full swing into Christmas. So today I want to share with you guys a few tips that we use in our family to stay on budget, both our actual monthly budget as well as our Christmas budget during the holiday season. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright friends, so you know that if you ask anyone, they would say that this time of year from like the end of November into December and through like the end of the year is the most expensive time in their life. But it really does not have to be and you can really control your spending during this time even though a lot of people say that you can't and a lot of people will tell you that you need credit cards and debt in order to have a good Christmas season. We definitely don't believe that and we believe that you can absolutely have a good time with frugal things things and thinking really smartly um, and planning out your time well. So the first tip that I have to share with you guys is to plan your activities. Now you know how many weekends there are in December and how much free time you'll have throughout the month. Now, now personally I'm going to have a chunk of time off at the end of the month so my husband and I have been thinking about what we want to do and planning out the activities that we will do during that time. Now that doesn't mean that we're going to go out and do a ton of crazy stuff during that week, but we do know that we might need a little bit extra cushion in order to go out and do something, have like a lunch date one day or something like that. He'll still be working the majority of the days, but it'll be nice to just have some time after the holiday season to really enjoy each other and to just have some time to kind of unwind and get ready for the new year. So it's really important that you take a look at what you have going on throughout the month and plan your time and your activities accordingly. Don't let something sneak up on you. Don't let, you know, a Friend come up and say hey let's go out this weekend and you know it's like Thursday night and they want to go out the next day and you're like oh okay sure and you end up going out to a dinner that's like $50 like that's gonna blow your budget you have to set a plan in place so think of the people that you want to spend time with and plan activities that are gonna be inexpensive and get there first <laughs> so that's the thing I would definitely recommend is if you want to have like a little get-together with your friends plan a white elephant be the one who makes the effort of planning the thing so that you're in control really of the budget and what it actually will look like and so it's not a huge expense for everyone and I promise everyone will thank you if it's something that's inexpensive but still a great time. One thing that I would definitely suggest is, like I just said, the White Elephant gift exchange would be super fun. Set a budget of 5 to $10, invite everyone over, ask everyone to bring a treat, and just do like a dessert and White Elephant type of activity. You can do this if you're single, you can do this if you're married, you can do this literally no matter what your age is. It's something that's really fun and just helps to get everyone in the Christmas spirit and in that seasonal just like laughter, jolly good time spirit. So that's tip number one is to plan your activities well and ahead of time. Number two is to plan free or cheap activities. Now I did just touch on this, but some things that you can do that are really inexpensive are just as much fun as doing something that costs a lot of money. So one thing my husband and I love to do during this time is we like to go look at Christmas lights. And I know I've mentioned this last year also, but it's something that we do every year and it just is so nice. You just get to ride around and listen to your favorite Christmas music. What we do is I make like a big thermos of hot chocolate and then we bring mugs and we can just share that and we'll even bring a treat like out of the pantry or I'll make cookies specifically for that occasion and we'll go out and just kind of cruise around and look at Christmas lights throughout the area. So you have to really plan out where you're going to go and make sure that you're hitting a good spot so that you don't get somewhere and there's like two houses that have Christmas lights and it's like, ah, well, that's lame. So make sure you plan ahead and there are lots of great websites that you can check out to see who has good Christmas lights up and specific neighborhoods that do these things. So I know in our area there are quite a few neighborhoods that do this, so it's really easy for us to look it up, kind of make a, a game plan, to choose to hit a couple of different neighborhoods, and then go on from there. And it's just a nice evening spent together that is literally free except for a little so bit another money. free thing that you can definitely do at home is to check out all of the Christmas movies that are available on different networks right now and make some treats at home. You can pop some popcorn, you can do cookies if you wanted like you know, do a baking cookie and like decorating time and watch the movies together. That's totally great too. So just think of something that's creative and free for you to do at home that doesn't cost you anything or even that's outside of the home. But things that are really inexpensive 
but still ring in that true Christmas season for you. Like whatever it is that speaks to you about Christmas, do that. And I, prom and I promise it'll be so much fun and your bank account will thank you I for guess it. tip number three is probably an obvious one, but it is stick to your budget. So this is your monthly budget and your Christmas budget. Whatever your budgets are, you have set them for a reason. You know what your needs are. You know what your expenses are. You need to stick to them. I know it can be so tempting to just go out and start spending extra money or justifying extra little purchases and things like that, but really truly you don't need to. If you are wanting to get someone an extra gift, choose to spend extra time with that person. Go out and grab a coffee that's a couple dollars, but whatever it is, make sure it's something that's within your budget and is not going to have you looking back at December when January hits like oh my gosh I spent so much money what was I thinking you don't want to have that feeling you don't want to have like the Christmas hangover where you're like regretting every purchase you made and every outing you went to you want to look back at the Christmas season and just be full of joy and thankful that for the time that you got to spend with your loved ones so definitely choose time with people over major gifts or big extra gifts or ex extra expenses and the final tip that I have for you is to plan a splurge if it's in your budget now this is something that my husband and I have just recently started doing and probably for this year in particular it'll be like the first time we actually do this but we're planning a little bit of a Christmas splurge so within our budget I set aside a specific dollar amount for us to do something that is a little bit nicer it's not one of those free things that we're going to be doing throughout the rest of the month but it's something that we'll get to really enjoy and just mark the Christmas season for us and it'll be a special event um, we'll also probably combine some of our date money for the month into that special event but whatever it is we're going to really just like soak in the season and really enjoy each other so if it's in your budget I would recommend you do something like that whether it's going to see like a show or um, like the Nutcracker Ballet or if it's going out to a special dinner um, with you know your spouse or a friend or something like that whatever it is plan something if it's in your budget that will really allow you to splurge and really enjoy the season without feeling like you're deprived or that you're really li limited on what you can do so guys, those are just a few tips that I want to share with you on this Money Monday of how to make sure that your budget stays intact throughout this holiday season. I know it can be super tempting to go over budget and to just get out of control, but I want to encourage you not to. I promise you'll feel much better when January comes around knowing that you stuck to your budget and that you had the willpower to say no when no needed to be said. And I definitely encourage you to plan things that would make sense and that really work for your budget and for your family's lifestyle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know what tip you have to keep your budget intact for the month of December. So definitely let me know in a comment below. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Have a great Monday.